Hello Internet, hello and welcome to this video. Today we are playing Game Dev Tycoon. Now I know, I know, this is not a MOBA, this is not a multiplayer game even, this is something entirely different. Now I just was looking around on YouTube and I found this game and I was just like so fascinated and amazed by it that I just had to pick it up right away. And I thought, hey, let's record a bit of it. That sounds like a bit of fun. If you guys enjoy this, we can keep it going. If you don't, well, it's gonna be a one-time thing. Whatever, let's just give it a shot. Now, now, we're gonna try to de develop Dota. That's gonna be our main purpose in this game. And well, let's just go straight into it. So, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans and become the leader of the market. And we are gonna create Dota. <laughs> so let's just go in. Before you can start your own adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Uh, well, first of all, I think, I think my name is pretty pretty obvious balmy right hmm <laughs> balmy and associates can we can we have that name i always how do you write the associates is that is that how you write that set oh people people give me a second i need to look that up where's my where's my looking up thingy i don't uh... okay i found it don't you worry okay so we're gonna go look up how do i write associates I'm sorry, my my writing skills aren't that amazing. So you've got to give me a second associ. Yes, that's how you write it. Okay, I did it right. So uh, we're gonna be called Balmy and Associates. I always wanted to do that, to have that name. That sounds like a great company name. And are we male or female? <laughs> oh, we can change our hair color. Oh, I can be ginger. Can I be ginger? I always. Nah, let's not go with ginger. Hmm. Oh, let's actually go with him. He sounds cool. Yeah, he's okay. What kind of t-shirt? Do we have a pink t-shirt? There's no pink t-shirt. Is there really not a pink? Okay, we're gonna take the teal one then. That sounds okay. Well, let's go! If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, yeah, 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 I don't care. Congratulations, you've started your very own game development company at the moment. Your office is in a garage and you're the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, let's start developing our first game. Well, that's that's a waste of an achievement, isn't it? Well, develop a new game. What kind of game do we want? You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially, initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, so we're gonna call it... Uh, what we're gonna call it? Mmm... Hmm. Well, let's first of all pick a topic, shall we? So what do we have got? We've got sports, military, medieval, space, medieval. Pick genre, action. I didn't even read the others. Adventure, RPG, simulation, strategy. Actually, is it action or strategy? I think we're gonna go with strategy. Strategy. And pick platform. G64, it costs a bit more to develop. Hmm. I actually think PC, like... Yeah, PC sounds much more reasonable. So, uh, what are we gonna call our game? Huh. Hmm. This is difficult. This is indeed very, very difficult. I think we're just gonna call it Aeon of Strife. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's not steal names. That's boring. Let's call it a Game of Thorns. <laughs> That's okay, that's a good name. Okay, text-based 2D graphics. Yeah, we need to develop graphics, so I'm sorry. It costs a bit more, but we have to start working on that. I'm sorry. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right right focus for game greatly increases the points you generate. If you want what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read the brief, the ba 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 I don't care. Okay, not important. Very important, very important. Like I don't need I don't I don't need stories I don't need quests I'm, this is a strategy game we are taking this seriously we are not not developing some kind of I don't know text adventure no 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 that's not how we roll we create 
good high quality multiplayer games. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay. We are. I, it's pretty obvious what you're saying. If I don't like see it, whatever. My own fucking fault. So, um, hmm. We don't need dialogue. We don't need dialogue. However, level design and artificial intelligence is very important. So, let's just. Yeah, let's just develop a bit more, shall we? We've got only three bucks so far. That's nice. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but the options will increase quickly. Selecting additional effects here. Features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You see the graphic type you select when you define the game. It's just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the kind of graphics mid game. Okay, sound. Basic sound graphic well design. Now, this is difficult. Hmm. We can't just go through retard like this, can we? Yeah, that, that just doesn't do anything for us. This doesn't change anything. So, uh, I think sound is important though. Hmm. World design, graphics. Okay, let's tune down the graphics, shall we? Um, and the sound. However, the word design is... It depends, like, what are they actually talking about with word design? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. What do you want from me? Are we talking about designing a world in terms of characters and, and like mountains and how are these two? The first thing, anyways. Uh, hmm. Or is it is it like a level design? No, it's not level design. So I think we might just turn down word design. Like we don't need that. And let's just go full beta graphics and level uh, and sound. Nice. Yes, we just want nice feel for our game. It doesn't need a word. There's no such thing. This is probably gonna fail horribly. <laughs> oh man. Six bucks. Okay, well, that's not nice. Uh, okay, yes, yes, yes. So, we're just gonna wait for the bucks to get fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. Oh, nice. We got a few more points into design and the last buck fix. So, it looks like we are done, aren't we? Let's finish. So, the de development of your game has now finished. With developing skills, you can experience and improve your skills. Nice. So I got a lot of points actually. New topic, new combo, engine a lot, gameplay a lot, story quest barely anything, dialogues barely anything, level design a lot, artificial intelligence a lot, world design barely anything, graphics a lot, sound a lot. Perfect, this is exactly what we want. Release the game. You better love, you better love that game. It's a good game. It's a good game. It doesn't need story. That's not the point of it. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, the reviews are coming in. Okay. Oh, 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 that's rotating at a higher number. Oh, seven, beautiful. Thank you, Star Games. Oh, six, six, you fucking uninformed gamer. What the, what the? Well, six, uh, game hero. Come on, you're not a hero. Eight, oh, all games, all games. You're my favorite website. I think I could produce the good product, didn't I? An eight, bam. Nice, except for that uh, shit like uninformed gamer. Like, oh, who cares about him anyways? He's just whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about him. A newcomer in the game industry just released the first game, Game of Thorns. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Balmy and Associates are sure to gain fans quickly. So, how are my fans looking? Game of Thorns? Oh, oh, it's selling good! Oh, number 22. Wow. Income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at a sales graph in the top right of the screen. Game of Thrones was so. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read it. Oh God damn it! I, I skipped past it. I'm sorry. Twenty eight fans. What the fuck? What? We sold. We sold almost twenty k units and we got twenty three fans. What kind of people are these? This is ridiculous. What? Well, uh, can I actually like start a new game? No. Or are we just waiting? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, uh, research. What can we do? Research is important to unlock a new option, make better games. Mm. Okay, new topic. Custom. Yes, we want. Can I do it? No, I don't want a new topic, though. I want, I want custom game engine. Ah, we need the research points. Okay, well, then let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, let's just develop a new game, shall we? So, uh, this time around, I suppose we're just gonna call it 
Yeah, that's a nice name. Pick a topic. I think we might just go with military this time around. Pick a shower. We are gonna stick to all of this. This time around we got a lot of money though. Let's go for the G64. Nice. Text space, 2D graphics. Okay. We're just gonna go for the exact same thing. We are gonna level up our points. Yes. Yes. We're gonna create the exact same thing. I'm sorry, people. We need to get our skill points up. Yes. That's what the people expect of us. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh my god, we made a lot of money with Game of Thrones. So the people are gonna... Yeah, they're gonna love another one of those. Reagon is gonna basically like wreck house. So, uh... Nah, we don't have... Ah, okay, suppose we're just gonna stick with the same things. Yeah, we just need more research points. I want... I want a new... Oh, recent mark study suggests that the governor to study outside competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Nice! Nice. No, no, no. Let's back fix that thing, shall we? Oh, we still don't have enough research points, though. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's finish it. Got a lot more on technology now. Oh, new rock record. Oh, that's cool. We got like a high score on that. Oh, look at our skills. Man, we are good. We are really good. We're kind of one-sided though, but whatever. That's what the people want of us. They're not looking for something different, right? They expect home content, so why would they watch this? I don't know, but you are. Well, I suppose some of you are. If you are, just come on. Come on, give it a shot. I actually like this game. This is fun. The first review for our new release. Oh, oh, oh! What? What? What are you doing? Oh, uh, six Star Games, you piece of fucking shit! Yeah, the uninformed gamer has usually got no clue what he's talking about. Oh, nice! Thank you, Game Hero! Indeed, it was very enjoyable. What else would it be? And a seven. So we got the same reviews as before, just a little bit swapped around. Except for the uninformed gamer, you fucking piece of shit! Seriously, leave me alone. I'm just trying to make some money here. Okay, so what do we have we got? Hmm. Okay. I just, I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in contracting business, in the business and we could use skills like yours. If you ever shot in cash, just let me know. And no, no, I, I am, I am, I am cooler than you. I don't need you. Uh, but we can't find contract work. But we are not really that... Oh, nice! We got more fans. More fans! <laughs> so, um, research. We still can't create a custom game engine. I want to get a custom game engine. Oh. Well, this is getting difficult now. Like, I don't know. Um, big topic. I, 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 Well, I think... Hmm. Actually, the G64 is getting a bigger market here. So let's just do another one of these. I think. Uh, let's just... Yeah, I mean, that's what the people expect of us. And we're gonna level up afterwards. So, But this time around, did we pick military last time? Let's actually just, just go with space. Let's at least swap that up a bit. So, uh... Um... Let's just call it... I don't know... Oh, I can't do that! HHG T T SPACE! <laughs> Perfect. What next? Why can't I do next? Why can't I do next? Oh, picture it. Oh, I'm sorry. Strategy, of course. Yes, indeed. We're just gonna go for the same thing yet again. We need, we need to, oh, Japanese company Ninvento <laughs> is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. The Ninvento is known for the by the successful arcade game Dinky Kong, King, Dinky King. Well, that's, that's a problem, but the hope that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Now you can, you can believe me that I'm going to crush your bitches. Seriously, my games are all about gameplay. That's, that's the important thing, after all. Nice, we got enough research points now, so we're gonna be able to create our own engine. Indeed, that's what we wanted. Nice. So, uh, yes, 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 give me more points, give me more points, give me more of everything! 
What? So many bugs? That's not okay. Why would I be getting so many bugs, you incompetent piece of crap? Stop! Stop screwing up the game! Another bug? Oh! Yeah, we are going made some good money. That's good. That's decent. Nice, we got another point in the technology. And another point. Wow. Okay, let's finish this. Recent rumors and announced that... <laughs> An invento test. Oh, that's so nice. Has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new gaming home console called TESS early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Oh, by the way, I need to take a look at the clock. So we're gonna do another half hour or hour, right? So, experience gained, okay. Oh, level two. Oh, level up. Here we go with the level ups. Nice, perfect. Yes, indeed. I think we are. it's about time to go into, like, something that's a little bit better than now. Oh, nice. Here we go, here we go. We're really good at that now. So, the first reviews for our new released game, Hitchhiker's Guide to Space, came in. Huh? Oh, space and strategy is a great combination, indeed. Yes, and... Oh, the uninformed gamer! Oh, you're doing good. And Game Hero, of course, thank you. And, and, oh my god, look at me! Look at me, like, even though it's got a shitty title, we are rocking the house. I'm good at this. I should be a game developer. Well, research. Custom game engine. Start research. Here we go. From Patrick and Daniel Kluk, Greenheart Games. Hi, Bowman. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Well, that's no problem. Hello there. Okay, so your very first game means a lot to us that you're enjoying it with your purchases about like ba -ba -ba. Yes indeed. Well thanks. You didn't have to thank me. I'm enjoying your game, but hey, that's fine. Oh by the way, in case you uh, are curious where could you get that game, I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description. It's actually pretty cheap, it's like eight euros, so yeah. Yes, you can you know you can create your own game engines. To get start close and click anywhere. Develop, create custom game engine. Okay, graphics. So what do we have got? No, sound, mono sound. Well, that's, this is a shame. Can I, can I do something else? Hmm. Hmm. Um, well. Well, let's just call it real engine. Real engine one and mono sound. Yeah, let's just create that. I don't need story though. I don't need story. I'm wasting a lot of my money. Yes. Okay, let's create that. Oh my god, this is actually gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> okay then. Let's do that. And looks like the real engine one is about to finish. Nice. Oh, wow, that, that's a lot of money we got from that. Fuck yeah. Your, your new game engine, Real Engine 1, is now complete. Yes, indeed, I'm gonna use that in my next game. So, uh, pick topic. Pick topic? Ah, we should maybe research, research a new topic, shouldn't we? So, um, research a new topic. Uh, which one? Fantasy, fantasy. Start research. We need fantasy. It's just kind of something that fits well, right? So, yeah, that's nice. Oh no, oh no. No, Ninvento, what are you doing? Gamepad? Okay, what? Just. What can we research with a gamepad? Yes, we got a new topic. A uh, research gamepad? Hmm, let's actually do that. The gamepad doesn't really work all that well with strategy, doesn't it? I think I just might have wasted a bit of money. That's a shame. Hmm. Stop writing. Created gamepad. Okay. So, uh... D oh, what? I need... God damn it. Well, we're just gonna use the real engine one for this game. So, it's a, it's a fantasy game. Um... Well, what are we gonna call it? 
I don't I, I don't know. I just Lord of the Hats? Sounds like a good name. So pick topic. Fantasy indeed. And yet again strategy, because that's what we're gonna roll with. Hmm. Oh, this has got a licensing cost. The problem is, it's a strategy game. It got a huge market share, though. God damn, Ninvento! Yeah, let's actually go with this one. Ah, it's so much money, though. And like, like gamepad doesn't work. I, I think I just might. Ah, screw this! I'm buying that game engine. Let's take the real engine one. Strategy, fantasy, sounds good. 2D graphics, yes indeed. Oh my god, I am... Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, I'm all out of money! Yeah, engine safe game. Okay, fuck it, we're going YOLO on this. I can, I can go up to 50k into the negatives, okay. I need to keep that in mind, but we are going YOLO on this game. We are so doing that. I'm sorry, Lord of the Hats. There's just no way that could possibly go wrong. People love hats! Mono sounds. I can still afford that. I can still afford that. Ah, oh, but I'm so... I've heard rumors are already walking on your next time. would love to do an interview about this. Do you have some time? Sure! Great, thank you for your time. This should be published soon. Of course, that's free advertisements. It's trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published three games working hard on their next. The founder said that the next game is going to be a fantasy strategy game, something the company has not done before. It's great to see small local companies and their exciting new industry. All the best of luck to Balmy and Associates. Oh, it's actually a bit hyped into the place. Like, yes, indeed, I know that. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. I can? Oh yeah! Hell yeah! My god, this is awesome. Okay. No, we need to fix the bugs first. I'm sorry. We're not doing good on money, but we are doing so well enough. Wait, wait, wait! No. Ah, shit. Oh, shit! I should have finished the game! Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, let's finish the game really quick and hope that I can make it back. Oh my god, that was a really bad idea. Okay, um... Well, luckily enough, we are still doing good in terms of levels, so... Level up in world design. 2D graphics got leveled up nice. Okay, let's just release the game, shall we? Joystick? Oh, come on. Game review, all oh, the first reviews, Lord of the Heads came in. Oh, this is looking nice. Oh, nine! Oh, Star Games! Yeah, hell yeah! And the uninformed gamer has usually got no clue what he's talking about, but that's fine. Game Hero, yeah, you're okay. You're a cool guy. Eight? Eight, wow, I'm rocking this. My god, my scores are getting amazing. So, people, come on, buy. Buy the freaking Lord of the Heads. Uh, 100 fans so far. That's not a whole lot, is it? But I got a lot of money, so we are gonna be able to pay... Pay the fucking bank. Piece of shit. It's a surprise hit with players. The developer is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Indeed, you can't wait for it. I've got this. I'm good at this game. Wow. Man. This is, this is going nice. This is going great. Oh, oh. We've got a lot of money now. Okay, well, let's get going, shall we? So what do we have got? Contract world, create custom engine, develop a new game. I think we might create, need to create a new engine. Gamepad. Mm. Yeah, let's add the gamepad in there, mono sound. I want to create um, a game with, the with, with a gamepad for the Ninvento, for the TES, so let's just call it the Real Engine 2. Create Engine. Out of the hats. Wow! 
Yeah, yeah, my fans are loving this. Yeah, yeah, that's why I need... Yeah, I need to create add that controller. If I don't add that controller, I'm just... I'm just screwing up so bad. Seriously. Ugh, luckily enough, a lot of the heads was a success. That's nice. Though we've really got to get another game out, otherwise, like, the freaking bank is just gonna, like, murder me. That's not nice. God damn it, this game is like real life. Okay, Real Engine 2. So, let's develop a new game. Uh, game number 5. So, what are we going to call it? Ah, uh, I don't know. What do we have? Pick topic, fantasy. Ah, we might need to... Hmm. Yeah, we need to research a new topic. New topic, vampire, racing, sci-fi. I think sci-fi fits well. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna research joysticks just yet. I'm gonna see a puffer spot here. Hmm. Now I've got some time to come up with a good name. Sci-fi. What do I have got in terms of sci-fi? Oh! Okay. Okay, develop a new game. Pick topic. Sci-fi. Picture. We are sticking to strategy because that's what the people expect of us. I'm gonna go to the test and the real engine too, of course. Game number five is not a good name. However, we need a different name. So, what are we gonna name our hmm, game number five? Ah, this is difficult. This is really, really difficult. Like. Hmm. Now we need something that's related to sci-fi. I'm not a big guy. I'm not a big sci-fi fan, though. That's kind of the problem. Hmm. And all of the names I can come up with are too long. Like I don't think I can go like goodbye and thank you for the chicken. That just that just doesn't work. It's too long. Ah, we need a short, we need a quick, we need a nice name. It's this is this is this is difficult. Mm. Sci-fi, I can't <laughs> write this blog. <laughs> yes, naming games indeed can be difficult. I'm sorry, this is I just I God damn it, I can't come up with a good name. What is this? So let's actually I got a bunch of books here. I just sci-fi is just not my thing, though. Uh, let's just call it the ending story. Yes, that sounds like a good name for sci-fi, doesn't it? So, 2D graphics, indeed, start development. Oh, come on! Start off with a bug right away. Gamepad, indeed. We've got enough money for that. It should be fine, as long as the freaking banks don't go crazy on our ass. Uh, should be fine. Yes, we're gonna stick to the same concept so far. Also creates a market for more specialized games. Super Lots become more popular with younger games where others cater for the male major age groups. Huh. Okay. New research available target audience. Oh, that's interesting. So I suppose the consoles are more for like younger gamers. But we're gonna still stick to this. As usual, we want to stick to our roots. We want to stick to what we're good at, right? Right. So let's just fix those bugs. Here we go. And finish this game before we go like bankrupt yet again. <laughs> and no rumors circling have been another Japanese company is planning to release a home game console on their own. Okay. But I don't trust them. Oh! Nice. New records on every level. New topic, new combo. Great combo! Uh, oh, come on, I don't care about that. That's not relevant. It's really not. Nice, 2D graphics leveled up. That's, however, very relevant. Release the game. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for my reviews. This has to be good. First reviews for our new release game, the ending story came in. Oh! Played it for days. Eight? Seven? Fucking uninformed gamer! Oh my god! What is up with you people? This was a great game! This is a good game, what the fuck? You... Oh, I hate that... God damn it. 
get the feeling this freaking uninformed gamer is just out to like make my life miserable. Well, are the fans enjoying the game? This will be required to pay it back in three months time. Hmm. Well, that just means I can't like start something good right now. Rumors about a new game console and announcing Master 5. The company claims that the Master 5 is technically superior to massively successful TS by an inventor and plans to release it in the coming months. Okay. So. Um, can't I, like, pay this back right now? Ah, uh, goddammit, I can't. When you bet so long, you can't be quenching a small number of research points. Except what? Carefully, what contract you accept, you must even have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start off with a small and see how much you can handle. Three weeks, penalty pay. Create an animation for an existing lore, design some game characters. That's not really my strength, is it? Create an animation. Okay. Our stuff needs to be how to use modern technology. That's my thing. Yeah, accept that one. I'm just gonna have to like wait until the freaking banks like take their freaking money, isn't it? God, what? You fucking pieces of shit! How did I not? How did that not? What? I need stories now off the market. Oh, nice. That's a very good amount. I only got one fan? Fuck you. Well, I suppose we're just waiting now, are we? Mm, we got 100k to spend. Ah, let's say like 80k. Let's. So, mm, what can we do? I think we might just research a new topic. Oh, actually, that's that's 40k. 15 research point. Let's just go with that. Target audience seems to be useful. Now you just get the really bad feeling and our next game might be a very low quality game. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> okay, we don't have a lot of cash. So um develop a new game. You can also what your main target audience is for your games can be targeted young people at everyone or at may more major audience. Right for game as upon your target platform also play a role sometimes especially popular with a special, specific audience. So it's gonna be a major game. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. It just it's just like I don't know. So we're gonna call it uh fixing good. I think that's a nice name and hmm. Let's just go back to fantasy. Actually, no, let's just go to medieval. Like, major audiences, that's something they like. Strategy, indeed. Platform. The G64, or... Uh, I'm short on money. We're gonna have to go with the G64. Pick the game engine. Let's go with the real engine, too, of course. I can't afford that shit. Okay, we, we are we are in the negatives yet again, but we are still in the like it's okay. We're still in the good negatives. Uh, oh no, it got released. It got released. Shit! What does that mean for me? Steve O'Connell, don't don't what? Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. I have heard a rumor that your company is the game for major audience. Would you be willing to give an interview about us? Yes. Great. Thank you for your time. We we'll publish the interview next week. Of course, I want to give interviews. Why would I not want to do that? Uh, yes, as usual, we are sticking to that. We've seen published an interview with Bomb and Associates. According to the community, the company is one of its first game targeted at the major players. We think that players are looking for more major content in games that we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. I think I just might have fucked up. I was I was looking at like a complicated game, not as like a, I don't know, very story heavy Game of Thrones style of game. That's not what I wanted. Um Okay, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to YOLO through this. Hope that we don't die in the process. I was not very well marketing of him, but it will flourish in our parts of the world. Okay. Well I don't care about America. Nobody cares about America. Let's fix those bugs, shall we? 
The, the best part of this game is just hoping, like, for good reviews. Mm. Oh, we're getting close to level 3 on those. That's amazing. Uh. Yes, 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 yes! Let's make those graphics better. And please, please, I need some money! I'm dying over her here! First reviews, fixing good came in first reviews, yes. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, nice! Nine! Come on, come on! Ah, you fucking... I hate this guy, I hate him so much. Almost perfect indeed, good sir, indeed. Oh, come on, all games, you disappoint me. Usually, you're my hero. Oh, man. Now, the reviews for this game, amazing. So, it's gonna sell like crazy, please tell me. It's an 8.5. That's a really good review, isn't it? Give me money, give me money. I'm dying. <gasps> I survived. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. That's nice. I think I'm playing this game in the entirely wrong way. But to me, it's all about surviving. Oh, my God. Look at my money. Oh, hell yeah. New research. Casual games? No, fuck that. You're not developing casual games. So, uh, what can we do? We got a lot of money now. Uh, quick custom engine. What do we... No, we already got all of that. We don't care about stories. Mm, research. What can we do? Casual games don't care. Joystick? Uh, superhero. Oh, superheroes! Oh, yeah! That sounds like nice. And... Nah, actually, let's just research that, shall we? Let's research superheroes. Superheroes work great, but we need... I think we need to change up the... Hmm. Superheroes don't work well with strategy, do they? Oh, shit. Interesting. Higher price computers to coming against newer and more advanced PCs. Okay, we might have to... Yeah, we're not gonna develop for that anymore. Okay, superheroes is researched. Hmm. Okay, let's research choice. No, actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's create a game. Develop a new game, shall we? So, um, this game is targeted at everybody. Or is it? Uh, the younger... No, that's targeted at everybody, right? Okay, um... Uh, what's it called? I don't know. Let's let's just go. Superheroes, pick genre. This time I'm gonna go with action. Pick platform. platform. Um, 80k?! License cost 80k! Uh, I've got a good market share though. I think this is good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to. I'm sorry. Go with the real engine too yet again. And the name. The name! The name, the name, yet again. Uh, I don't know. Justice uh, besides you. Something along these lines. Sounds nice. Um, graphics, okay. Yeah. As usual. Nothing crazy going on. Oh, nice. Fixing good was a really, really good game. Yes, yes, indeed. That's how we want it. Yeah, come on, it's a fighting game. That's all how, how I imagine it. It's a beat em up. I don't need story for a beat em up. I don't need story any way, shape, or form. No, we are not changing that. I'm just power gaming through this. I think I'm going about this all the wrong ways. But it's working out. I'm doing fine. I'm still alive. I got 1,300 fans. Get on my level, bitches. Yes, indeed. We can afford all of that. We are still fine. Still fine. And this guy is so incompetent. All of the freaking bugs. Well, fix them. Oh, no. The game link is released. Oh, shit. What do I do with that? Now the gaming consoles, the gaming is on a par, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, you might find a huge following. The game is set to, set to hit shelves next month. <gasps> oh no. The game thing is released. What do I do? I can't decide. Well, let's... Okay, let's finish this game, shall we? New, rock, new record in design. That's nice. And level 3, of course. Level 3, of course. Of course. Nice. Level design. Artificial intelligence. Yes. Give me all of those level ups. Graphics. Yeah, more graphics. Sound. But I didn't level up. But that's a shame. Okay, let me release the game. Level editor. Better AI. 2D graphics. Yes, 3D graphics. Oh, hell yeah. 
monthly cost. First review for a new guys game, Justice Besides You came in. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, we got a 10! We got a 10! Fuck you! You freaking un... I'm not taking him... Oh, look at this! Look at this freaking uninformed gamer! He's got no clue about anything! Oh my god! Two 10s! Two 10s, people! Two 10s! Yeah! Yeah! That's a free roll! Okay, what do we have got? How are the states looking? <gasps> These says are looking amazing. Oh, the game link got released. I don't care about him. That's that's some casual shit. Don't give a shit. Oh, come on. Very positive reviews. 10, my new favorite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Bobby the Associates is gonna rock this house. You can't believe me that. We are gonna, like, we are going big, bitches. Hell yeah! My god, I'm great at this game. I'm amazing. So. Hmm. With growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. This one gonna... No, they are gonna die. Oh, marketing. Nice. We did well, didn't we? We did really well. So. Yeah, I said another half an hour. I think we have even gone more over that. More happy. Anyways, sword. Nice. That's so much money. Well, well, internet, well, internet. So this was uh, game dev. I could I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> but well, if you want to see more of this, please don't forget to leave a comment. Don't panic. We're gonna have Horn later on today with the new hero, new model, not new hero. But yeah, uh, I just felt like recording a bit of this game because it's 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 fun. This is genuinely fun. I'm not gonna keep on playing today. If you want me to continue playing this game, just I don't know, do a let's play of it, I suppose. But whatever. If you want me to continue with this game, I can do that. I can do that. If you don't, if you think if you thought this was fun, but we don't need more of it, or if you didn't like it at all. Well, then tell me, so we're gonna stop with it right here. And, no. that, that won't stop me from uploading other games from time to time. I just thought this one was funny. It's also pretty new. Again, link to uh, uh, like page where you can buy the game down the description. It's not on Steam yet, sadly enough. I would have liked to buy it on Steam, but yeah, you can buy it. It's pretty cheap and it's actually tons of fun. I like this game. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow.